Building to a crescendo all week, and very shortly it will be for real. We have all the action for you live. And a warm welcome from one of the newer venues here in the football mad capital of England. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's West Ham United up against Fulham. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff. A great opportunity, and the keeper more than equal to it. And now the delivery. It might still be problematic. what the fans wanted to see the ideal way to begin well here it is again and the clearance just isn't good enough giving up possession in a dangerous area just poor defending all round well the action underway once again and the onus is on West Ham to find a response now Vlasic William well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Ball's gone. Pereira. Can't miss, surely. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. And there's the delivery. And a struggle to get it away properly. Pereira. of room in the wide area he must finish well the goal was at his mercy well it certainly was he has to score there well he's given us away Emerson William can they trouble the opposition this time? A glorious chance. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Trying to deliver it accurately. Struggling to get it away. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. And the danger is averted. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Pereira. And did well to keep hold of it while waiting for the support to arrive. That is how to apply the pressure. Calvert-Lewin. And now with William. Nicely timed tackle. Vlasic. Skamaka. Oh, the threat is there. It has to be. And a goal to square the game. Into the seat stuff. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power. And the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. 
That's a very fine piece of tackling. William. Across there that was decidedly ordinary. Calvert Lewin. Takes the shot. A routine save. Perfect tackle. It's a good looking ball in behind. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. He has teammates around him, but nothing comes of it. Well, it's been quite clear that West Ham have been second best in terms of possession, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. And a bit more defending on their minds here, I think. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Jared Bowen. Scope to attack here for West Ham. Can he convert? Tremendous block. Well, perhaps an opportunity for the Hammers to extend their lead here. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Zuma. From a long way out. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Oh, could have given them an even healthier advantage. Well, it's a good effort to extend their lead, but the game's still in the balance here. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Pull from the keeper, and they'll come again. Real chance. What a performance! Well, as you can see, he has to get rid of that quicker. That's a poor mistake from the keeper. So on with the action. 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Emerson and on the ball Vlasic good work from Fulham to win it back splendid tackle and a throw in coming up good looking sequence and the cross not quite imaginative enough who's going to get on the end of it not all that convincing defensively Rice it's looking promising. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Really good challenge. And as the referee blows for half time, it's West Ham with the lead. And so the second half underway, it really was a sparkling first half showing by West Ham. Will it be a repeat performance this half? Chance to play it in. Well, not cleared away completely. And I think the threat has been averted. Well, news to bring you from one of the other games, and big news at that. Here's Alex Scott. Yes, it was a penalty for Liverpool. The keeper will be kicking himself. He managed to get a touch, but couldn't stop it going in. It's now 1-0 with 49 minutes played. 
Thank you, Alex. Just a quick reminder, we'll have live coverage of the Champions League semi-final first leg. It's West Ham United against Villarreal. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Very quick thinking there. Alberto Moreno. Beautifully weighted ball. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Who can he pick out? Moreno. And a significant block following that cross. Who can he pick out? Well, it still could be dangerous. Pereira. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, it looked like a good ball, but cut out in the end. 30 minutes to go then. A running room in the wide position. Paqueta. Well, no mistake from the keeper acting decisively. I'm delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Fulham taking on Brighton. Can he find the net? And the keeper more than equal to it. Now sending it in. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, nothing untoward happened. Skamaka. Now with Paqueta. Paqueta. In with a chance. And it goes! Well, it's one goal after another. A highly impressive performance. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. And that is going to be a free kick. Well, just a rebuke rather than a caution, Stuart. Well, it's not a bad tackle, and the referee's got that right. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. He'll take this on. Well, it wasn't quite the quality of shot that we were all anticipating. There's the feed into the box. Firing it towards goal. Leno would have been disappointed had he not held on. Good technique displayed. And easy meets for Bert Leno. Rice, the high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Yeah. 
Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Coming onto the pitch, number 24, Filo Kiera. Sasha Lukic. And it crossed the byline, a goal kick as a result. Here it is now, a substitution. Coming off the pitch, number 20, Jamie Berry. To be replaced by number 14, Max Tolle. Well, I'm hearing something important has happened in the Palace game. Let's find out what from Alex. It's a goal for Palace. The defender was caught in possession just before the goal. He won't want to be watching that back. They've scored the open up with under five. And in it goes. A perfect header. Exactly what they were looking for. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play. Offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. And in the perfect position to read it. Terrific pass. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. An example of a goalkeeper in top form here. Played into the centre. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. That's well blocked. And there goes the final whistle. There's no doubt about it. Pull from the keeper and they'll... Just a couple of questions for you. No more questions, thank you. Okay, welcome everyone. We'll be starting with questions now. Okay, yeah, no, no. We This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. 
it's Villarreal, they take on West Ham United, and it's live. The floodlights are beaming down on the players here at the Estadio de la Ceramica. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Villarreal up against West Ham United. Well, Derek, it could be cagey and it could be tight, but we've got some of the best players on view here, and they'll want to show just how good they really are. I can't wait for this tie to start. Poor pass under no real pressure. And he really read that brilliantly. And here's a look at the starting 11 for Villarreal. Hugo Mayo plays with Johan Mojica in the fullback positions. Manu Trigueros plays with Dani Parejo in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Chance to cross. And they deal with the threat this time. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Chris Smalling plays with Tino Keira in central defence. Pablo Fornals plays with Jared Bowen out wide. And the striker of choice today is Danny Ings. Must take the lead here. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Johnson. Ings. Tremendous ball played through. Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Chukweze. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, possibilities in the centre. Parejo! ball is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be Johnson in possession Bowen Danny Ings and they stopped them in their tracks Rafa Mir take some progress with the ball at his feet A wonderful intervention. Chance to attack using width. Played into the center. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Rice. Read it well. Options in the centre. What a corner kick it is. Let's see if they can put this to good use as they try to add to their advantage. Well, too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. Well, rule two have taken up an illegal position only just. The Hammers finding space on the flank. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So back underway following the equaliser. 
Well, the supporters think it's on. The verdict is offside here. Caicedo. Almada. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Real chance. And danger still. Just cleared away in the nick of time. The defender doing his job. Playing it in. And in it goes. The perfect header. Exactly what they were looking for. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Arnautovic. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Timely intervention. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Crossing possibilities. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. And a decent save, full credit. Now sending it in. Well, that was quality, last ditch defending. It's one corner after another. And the problem not completely solved. That's really good and effective physical play. This could square the game. But the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. A good and fair challenge. Well, there it is, the referee's whistle. And... Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. A really sumptuous ball. Brilliant save. For Mouse. Can he put it in? There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. And that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Effective looking pass. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV. And looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United facing Aston Villa. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Well, the counter chance looks very real. But quick thinking defensively. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Me 
This looks threatening. And he read it well defensively. Good effort here. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. So a personnel change then. Playing it in. Well, still an issue here. Smalling. High quality defending. Pedro Neto. Now can they counter clinically? Defenders need to cover. And a decent delivery. A goal! As they cut into their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. Let's see this again. Because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Well, the action underway once more. And no shortage of entertainment. 3 2 for Niles. Ings. Chance here. And a goal. They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, as you can see, he beats the defender so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So the current scoreline, 4-2. A deft clearance. And it's played into the centre. Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. And now we find out it was offside anyway. And a successful intervention, winning the ball back. Who can he pick out? Attending to his defensive chores. Happy to take on the shot. Body in the way. Rafa Mir. Ings. Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, it looked promising, but the keeper taking command of the situation. Tapsoba in position here to protect the ball and Villarreal come away with it well that's how to do it inside your own penalty area and the counter attack is on options available Emerson that's not a bad ball. Not really the ideal clearance. But options at the back post here. And he's got to clear his lines. Chukweze. Chance to run at them. Parejo. It has to be. Shot blocked, but still alive. 
Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? For Niles. Almada. He's put it just a fraction wide of the post. Now options are plenty. Danny Ings. Danny Ings! Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. And a goal! Well, just look at this. He's so bright in the box. He's first to the ball and then a decent finish. It's a good bit of play. Not the scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Coquelin. And he read it superbly. And the referee blows his whistle. That is the end of the contest. And a fight. Can we ask you a question? No further questions, thank you. All eyes on one man in a rich vein of form and number one in the scoring charts. Can he do it again today? Hello, great to be with you. We're here in Stratford at the London Stadium, a ground built originally for the Olympics in 2012. Well, my name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United up against Aston Villa. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Bailey, Rafa, determined block. Douglas Luiz. He has time to play it over, and that is how to block.
and played short providing the cross Coutinho not away completely Douglas Luiz the end product just wasn't there well, the home side have had more than their fair share of problems defensively this season. They have the worst defence in the league. Well, I've been really disappointed with their defending this season. Too many times the centre-backs have squeezed up to play offside and got it completely wrong. Today, they need to defend the space as their priority. Bailey. Now he must favour the cross. Clumps clear. Just the challenge that was required. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Chance to attack using wit. The options at the back post here. And a bit short with the clearance. Rice. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. He succeeds in clearing it. Nicely timed tackle. Well, that was a bit unlucky, because you just get the feeling they need to make the most of one of these chances. Yes, a really open flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. Bailey. How about the cross? to really get at the opposition here and clears his lines Paqueta oh a fine block great pressure to win the ball back pretty comfortable piece of defending Poor attempt at a pass, really. Jared Bowen. Coutinho. And the attack looks promising. Bailey. Able to get a... Can he give them the lead? Well, he's missed the chance. And the keeper didn't have to do very much. Vlasic. Gianluca Scamacca. Douglas Luiz. And that'll end up being the keeper's ball. good tackle now let's see what they can do here well he didn't miss by all that much well he struck it quite nicely but the keeper was always in control of the situation he knew that was going wide Lucas Paqueta still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead a meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw in Leon Bailey robbed of possession Coutinho Vlasic and the pass could do damage is it going to be well he was on his own he had the goalkeeper to beat but failed to do so. Well, he just needed to show a bit more composure there. Take a little bit off the shot, I think. A sloppy pass. Well, tremendous block. And great use of the ball to keep possession. No worries for the keeper. Well, there you have it. They haven't been good enough going forward. They've created very little so far. They need to play with much more urgency. And they still don't have the ball. That has been a recurring theme. 
Coutinho prepared to fire. Taking care of business defensively here. I must say, this looks promising. Not a good pass. It's a neat move. Terrific block. Rafa. In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Alex Moreno. And there it is, the half-time whistle. That... And... So the second half underway with the hammers behind. Can they turn this game around? That's not a bad ball. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. Hul Krug. And support available. A fine block. Textbook closing down. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? And over it comes. Well, still an issue here. Douglas Luiz and did well to keep hold of it while waiting for the support to arrive a deft clearance Bailey now with Diego Carlos he's trying to create something a disappointing end to the move and excitement guaranteed here on EA TV live the Champions League semi-final second leg it's West Ham United against Villarreal well that has the makings of an absolute classic between two very good teams desperate for a cup final appearance I can't wait for that one Coutinho Alex Moreno Leon Bailey beautifully weighted ball and keeper's ball he made it look as though it was never in any doubt so check so far and fed forwards well, the attack carried promise but petered out well the crowd are doing their bit can they find the equaliser here here it is now, a substitution. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Aston Villa facing Nottingham Forest. Jared Bowen. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Tomasz Socek. The possession lost, intercepted. Bailey. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Seemingly cannot keep hold of the ball here. And teammates around him. Rafa.
couldn't find a teammate throw in here and the substitution will occur now Declan Rice the cross was very much on but not the end result they were hoping for slipshod passing Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Bailey. And out for a throw-in. Just misfiring with the pass. Jared Bowen. Paqueta. That's a nice-looking ball. Well, no problems defensively. It could be up for grabs. Well, that's the end of that for now. Electing to cross into the centre. And the problem not completely solved. Crossed in there. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Coutinho. Well-timed tackle. On the attack to be late drama and what a save to preserve the parity well that was a big moment and he's come out on top once again what a great goalkeeper Phil Krug it's with Rafa plenty of options Digne disappointing cross and gobbled up by the keeper Well, these fans are driving their team on here, but can West Ham find a winning goal? There's not long left now. He has time to play it over. Douglas Luiz. Could be a chance to break here. Coutinho. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Well, successfully cut out and we are going to have two additional minutes well he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw in oh he's given us away Ramsey has it on the offensive is there to be and with that the referee brings this contest to an end all square here in... now let's see what they Hi, sorry, can we just grab a moment of your time? Thanks so much for your time, that's all.
Thank you for joining us here today. We'll be taking some questions now. Apologies if you couldn't ask.